Peace and blessings, family. My name is Jay, and uh, I just want to give you a brief video today on talking about um, the birth chart in astrology. And honestly, this is probably one of the first videos I should have made when, you know, talking about that in this channel, because that's like one of the biggest, like the birth chart is, you know, is key to even getting into this kind of thing and understanding it. So shit happens. But hey, you know what they say, better late than never. So. Yeah, with that being said, let's get into it and talk about the birth chart. So now, with the birth charts in astrology, well, what is the birth chart? The birth chart is like a chart. Um, a birth chart in astrology is like a um, it's a chart. It's like a chart of all. Um, it's like a chart of like all of our personal planetary influences that were going on at the exact moment that we were uh, at the exact moment that we were born into this world is like the best way to put it in words uh, I don't, i'm not the best at putting things in the words but yeah another way to look uh just you ever met that kind of you ever met somebody who know you know knows a lot of you know like knows a lot but doesn't necessarily know how to, know how to put things out all the time i'm one of those kinds of people so you'll you um throughout my videos you'll probably get that from time to time so just bear with it but yeah and um a birth chart is like it's a it's a chart that shows you all the planetary influences at the moment that you at the t at your exact time of birth the moment you were born pretty much so yeah in a birth in a birth chart what will you find and or you can also call it a native chart what will you find you'll find you know, you'll find an abundance of things you'll find um and at, you'll find You'll find um, uh, you'll find the signs. You'll find the signs in it, the planets, and some how and the houses. And with the how, you well, know, you already you already know one of the three already, which is the signs. Most people who are familiar with the zodiac and not, not necessarily astrology, they already know that there's you know there's the sign of Aries and Virgo, Pisces, and all that. But then when you actually get into the astrology and become familiar with the birth chart, you'll start to see the things like. Um, You'll start to see the planets and they're like what's what's all you know you'll start to be like what's all this sun moon and mercury and jupiter what's all this stuff and then also the houses you're like what's 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 going on with these houses you know what i mean so yeah that's natural because it's you know like it's a new experience it's something you know something foreign so yeah but basically when you do come when you do come across all that and begin to experience that i don't know like where do you start well if you were to, if if you were to ask me how you would start and go about reading your birth chart, um, you would want to um, see what you would want to see, and I'll make planets on I'll make videos on these two, uh, I'll make uh, planets on these two as well. Now, uh, did I say planets or video? It don't matter. But the planets are another part of the planets are something I want to make a separate like series of video on too. So yeah. But basically, when it comes to the birth chart, how you would want to read it, it's like, look at, like, your, look, look at your planetary placements. And what I mean by that is, like, look, um, actually, first, before you even get into all that, before you even look at, uh, like, get into your planetary placements and house placements, if you're not familiar with the signs, you would first want to get familiar with the signs. And then knowing that will kind of help you get a, an easy understanding of how to, uh, it'll it'll make it a little bit easier but what you're gonna do is n n you know know all the signs and then you know understand the planets and then when you know those two you know understand how that planet will because when you know the sign when you know understand the signs you'll understand why that sign has that um you know, you'll understand why that you know you'll understand the traits the energies and all that associated with that sign now when you understand the planets which the planets themselves, you know, um, if you, uh, anyway, um, if you watch my videos talking about the signs, uh, and those videos actually talk about the planetary ruler, all the signs. So if you watch the, um, and I did that in all the videos. So if you watch those videos, you'll already understand, um, the signs and the planets that rule them. So that's like two out of three right there, but we haven't really talked about the houses. So, um, assuming that you did watch my um, video talking about the signs, You'll already know the you'll already know what the planets are about and the signs too because the planets do influence the the plan um the planets do influence the signs so 
if you did watch the video, so the last thing that would be there for you would be to, um, you know, read, um, you know, get into the houses and how to break down the houses. So the houses are all life situations. And I'm going to make a separate, you know, I'm going to make separate videos for the houses too. But to get into quick detail about them, first house deals with the house of self. Second house deals with the house of, the first house deals with the house of self, you know, um, who you are as an individual, who, you know, what your person into, things like that. Second house deals with what you value, uh, what is that you have to offer, things like that. Third house deals with the, you know, your su surroundings and, you know, um, communicating and your siblings, et cetera, et cetera. Fourth house deals with, you know, your home, your family, the mother. Fifth house deals with your, uh, you know, your create, you know, your creativity, you know, the way you, you know, the way you, exp you know, you express your creativity, things like that. Sixth house deals with your health. Seventh house deals with your relationships. Eighth house deals with um, the things that are secret behind the scenes. And this, by the way, this is all surface level, so don't think that this is all that those houses are about. But yeah, anyway, continuing. Ninth house is like a uh, house that deals with enlightenment and higher learning and all that. Tenth house deals with your career, what you, you know, in business. Eleventh house deals with your, you know, your friends and, you know, groups and, that, you know, your circles. And the twelfth house deals with, um, you know, your dreams and subconscious and uh, all that. So, yeah. And for the people who have already understand the plans and the signs, what you want to do here is see, you know, see which, um, and see which planet is in which house and, you know, which sign naturally cut and naturally, either we look at it, whatever sign you find that house in something, not all the time. Cause sometimes you may have, um, a signs that are like close, just came out of another sign. So it's like on the cusp. So you may have a, while that planet may be in that sign, uh, the, uh, the planet may actually be in the house, you know, um, that sign may not be in that house or the planet may be in the house of the previous sign. If you're familiar with the birth charts already, you'll know, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. But if you are familiar with the signs that you want to do, you want to look for the um, house that each of these planets is in. And that'll tell you exactly, you know, that'll tell you how, um, that, uh, how, where that planetary influence, it'll tell you, um, and the 12 houses are all 12 different life situations. So the planet, whichever planets, you know, whichever houses these planets are in, We'll tell you where those which life situations those um, those influencers are taking place, and the sign is just how we um, actually the sign is simply how we go about you know tackling those houses issues. And a quick example of that Aries Aries like in the third house. So when it comes to like your surroundings, you do it in the Aries way. And if you watch my Aries video, you know what I'm talking about there. But if you say you got the uh, planet like Mercury there, um, what's actually going to happen in your third house is that you're going to be you know. Constantly, uh, you're going to be constantly think, thinking about, you know, your surroundings and being irrational about, you know, when it comes to things, dealing with the surroundings and all that in a nutshell. But I'll get more in depth with all that when I talk about, like, you know, the planets in the houses, you know, planets in the signs and all that. So, yeah, that's just a quick example. But, yeah, and if, but if you're not familiar with all that, yeah, uh, get familiar with the signs and then the planets. So when you do go back, and so when you do look at the birth chart, you bet, okay, so this planet is in this sign. So I know that this planet's energy, you know, is going to, you know, like um, be activated by doing things, uh, by, by things that revolve around this sign. And then when it comes, you know, and then we know that and get to the houses, you'd be like, okay, so this is the sign, you know, and then we get to the houses, it'll be like, okay, so, so this is where the, this, this, since the sign is in this house, this is the energy I bring to this house. And since the planet is here, this is actually, because um, the planet is always a bigger influence. This is actually what's happening. But yeah, it's, uh, it goes deep, but yeah. So with that being said, I'll, I, I hope that could help. And if I did, you know, that's, that's awesome. And if you, if you still have any questions, you know, put them down in the comments and I'll be, Feel free to try to help you, help you out as best as I can if the video didn't, if the video was still confusing. So, yeah. But with that being said, you guys, this is my take on, you know, this is my take on talking about the verse chart. Um, and like I always say, if you liked it, feel free to give a like. If you got any, you know, feedback, you know, a critique that you would like to put in, that is also appreciated because that's going to help me. It'll, it'll help me see things differently, help me learn, and in turn, it'll help me be able to serve you guys 
better in future videos. Now, with that being said, um, I'm going to talk to you guys later. You guys have a good evening, and I love you guys. Peace.